Welcome to this part of gate solved problems. In the first problem, you can see the given figure and we have one LED light emitting diode in which P side of the diode is connected to the VCC. VCC is equal to 5 volts and we can say that P side is connected to the high potential and high potential is 1 in digital electronics. And the N side of the diode is connected to the output of this NAND gate. This is the 2 input NAND gate and the output of this NAND gate is connected to the N side. So we have to find out, so we have to find out output of this NAND gate. If it is equal to 0, the LED will be on. If it is equal to 1, the LED will be off. So this is what we have to do in this problem. And option number A says, LED will emit light when both S1 and S2 are closed. S1 and S2 are the two switches that we are using in this circuit. Option number B says LED will emit light when both S1 and S2 are open. Option C says LED will emit light when only one of S1 and S2 are closed. And option D says does not emit light irrespective of the switch positions. In this circuit output of the NAND gate will depend on position of S1 and position of S2. We have one AND gate. We have one AND gate and one XOR gate in this circuit and first we will find out output of the AND gate and let's say it is equal to Y1. First input is connected to the VCC and second input is also connected to the VCC but they depend on but they depend on S1 and S2. Let's take case number one case number one when S1 S1 is closed and S2 is opened when S1 is closed, when S1 is closed, you can see the 5 volt is connected to the ground. So the input, the first input is equal to 0 and the second switch S2 is opened. So 5 volt will not be grounded and we have 1 as the second input. So the output Y1 is equal to 0. In the same way, you can analyze all the four cases and to make output of this AND gate Y1 equal to 1 both the switches S1 and S2 must be opened so I will write S1 complement and S2 complement so the output so the output Y1 is simply equal to simply equal to S1 complement and S2 complement I hope you got this point now we will find the output of the XOR gate let's say it is equal to Y2 the first input is connected to the VCC and it is always connected to the VCC there is no switch involved so it is equal to 1 and the second input is also connected to the VCC so the second input is also equal to 1 and in case of XOR gate when two inputs are equal to 1 the output is simply equal to 0 so we have Y1 equal to S1 complement and S2 complement and Y2 equals to 0 now we will find out the output of the NAND gate and let's say it is equal to Y and y is equal to y1 and y2 and its whole complement this is the value of y and now I will substitute the value of y1 it is equal to s1 complement and s2 complement y2 is equal to 0 so we have and 0 and its whole complement so finally we have y equals to 1 so this is the output of the NAND gate and the N side is also connected to the high potential P side is connected to the high potential and N side is also connected to the high potential so we can say that the diode is not forward biased the diode is not forward biased and when the LED or light emitting diode is not forward biased it will not emit any light so option number D is the correct option it does not emit light irrespective of the switch positions whatever be the position of the switches the output is always going to be 1 and the N side is always connected to the high potential and P side is always connected to the high potential so the LED will not emit any light now we will move to the second problem the second problem appeared in gate 2000 paper and in this problem we have to simply calculate the output of this given circuit we have A, B and C as the three inputs and output is equal to Y first we will find out output of this first gate and it is simply equal to A and B and its whole complement then we will find output of this gate we have this bubble here it means B is complemented so we have A and B its whole complement 
and b complement and then its whole complement i will simplify this using de morgan's law i have a and b or b i will take b as common so in bracket i am left with a or 1 so we have b as the output of this second gate now we will find out output of this third gate output of this third gate first input is equal to b and second input is also equal to b and in NAND gate when you apply the same inputs output is complement of the input so we have b complement as the output of this gate and the output of this gate is simply equal to b b or c complement and its whole complement we have c complement here because the second input is bubbled after this we have to calculate the final output that is y and it is simply equal to b complement or b or c complement its whole complement and then complement of everything i will simplify this using de morgan's law b complement or b complement and c and its whole complement b complement i will take common and in bracket i am left with one or c one or c is equal to one so we have here we have complement of all so we have b complement and its complement so the final answer is equal to b and option number c is the correct option so this is all for this lecture the first problem was very important and this problem appeared in gate 2001 paper in the next lecture we will discuss few more problems related to logic gates